Hey boys and girls, if you forgot to grab your Bible, push pause, run, 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 go grab your Bible, and then come back and hit play, because we're going to be in the book of Exodus today. Genesis, Exodus, the second book of the Bible is where we're going to be today. So let me kind of catch you up here. For, for hundreds of years, the Israelites, God's people, were slaves in Egypt. Now, remember your, some of the stories that we have talked about. The Israelites were slaves, and they came to God and complained and said, we don't want to be slaves, we want to get out of here. So God sent the plagues, remember those plagues that we talked about? And Pharaoh finally said, okay, let my people go. So Moses led all the Israelites out of Egypt into the wilderness, into the desert. And they were fleeing from the Egyptians and they got to the Red Sea. Do you remember what God helped Moses do? Remember Moses raised his staff and raised his hand and the Red Sea parted. All the Israelites were able to walk through the Red Sea. And when the Egyptians came, Moses put his hands down and the Egyptians were drowned. Now, the Israelites are safe in the desert and then they kind of start complaining, we're hungry. So God answers their prayers again. He sends bread or manna from heaven to feed them. Then they see we're thirsty. So he, Moses struck a rock and God helped water come out of the rock. Again, he answered the Israelites' um, prayers. After about three months, the Israelites kind of settled at the base of what we call Mount Sinai. And while they are there, um, God spoke with Moses. So this is what God said to Moses. This is from Exodus chapter 19, verse 3. Moses went up to God, and the Lord called on him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob and tell the sons of Israel, You yourselves have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now then, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my commandments, then you shall be my own possession among all the people of all the earth. So what God told Moses is said, hey, communicate to all the Israelites. If they promise to keep my commandments and keep all of my laws, they will be my favorite people. Out of all the people in the world, they will be my special favorite people. So the Israelites agreed, yes, we will obey all the laws. A little time passed and God called Moses up to the mountain again. But before Moses went up to the mountain, he told the people, Aaron's in charge. I leave Aaron in charge. If you have any problems, tell your problems to Aaron. So Moses went up the mountain. And do you know how long he was gone? How long he was gone for? He was up on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. Now that's a long time. Now the Israelites got tired of waiting. They got very impatient. And this is what they said. This is in chapter 32. Now when the people saw that Moses was delayed, remember 40 days, he was gone 40 days and 40 nights. When they saw that he was delayed to come down from the mountain, the people assembled about Aaron and said to him, Come, make us a God who will go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what has become of him. So they're telling Aaron, hey, make us a God. We don't know what happened to Moses. We don't know what's going on. We're tired of waiting. So Aaron said, okay, take all the gold earrings out of your ears. Take off all of your gold jewelry and give it to me. And then Aaron said in verse 4, he took this from their hand and fashioned with it a graven tool and made it into a molten calf. And they said, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. So they made a golden calf. They started praying to it, bowing down to it, and worshiping this golden calf. Remember, Moses is up on the mountain. God says to Moses, hey, you, you better go down and, and see what's going on down there. So Moses started heading down the mountain, and he was carrying these big stone tablets. Anybody know what was on those stone tablets? You ever heard of the Ten Commandments, the Ten Laws that God gave Moses to share with the people? 
Well, by the time Moses got down the mountain, he saw that the people were praying to this calf and bowing down to this calf. And you know what Moses did? He was so mad. He took those tablets and threw them on the ground and they broke into pieces. Then Moses walked right through the people. He grabbed that golden calf, burnt it, took its ashes, ground its ashes up, put it in water and made all of the Israelites drink it. Can you imagine how bad that must have tasted? A ground up statue. Now the Israelites got tired of waiting. Remember how we talked about Simeon and how when he was waiting, God was with him? Here's what happened with the Israelites. In their waiting, they forgot what was true. They forgot that God is true to his promises, that God loved them, that God was the one that got him out of Egypt, that God has a plan and his plan is good. So boys and girls, we need to be careful in our waiting that we don't lose track or forget what is true like the Israelites did. So this week, let's remember to remember to wait on God and remember his truths. So let's thank him for that. Jesus, thank you for the example of the Israelites and how impatient they were. And they took matters into their own hands. Father, I know we get impatient sometimes and we end up doing things ourselves. But Father, this week I ask that we would remember your truths, that you are a good God. You are a loving God. You are a trustworthy God, that you have a plan and your plan is good. So Father, when we get tired of waiting, help us to remember the things that are true. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen.